What's going on everybody, Almost Evil 33 here, and today I have another Battlefield 4 gameplay commentary for you guys. Today I'll be playing some Rush Attack on Lang Kang Dam, and I'm using the Engineer class with the AKU-12 as my primary weapon. And I don't know much else about this gameplay that you're seeing in the background in particular because I just ripped it off my hard drive, watched it one time through, and then I edited it down for you guys. So enjoy it. I think it's pretty entertaining from what I saw from it, uh, and I think you guys will like it. Just some nice little background footage while I talk about the topic of the day. And that is E3 2014. And as we know, E3 took place a couple days ago, or earlier this week, whatever you want to say, and there was a lot that went on at the conferences of the big time companies, and obviously a lot going on at the expo as well, but we're gonna just going to focus on the, the press conferences of the big companies, and for me, those big companies are Microsoft, EA, and Sony. So I figure that I'm just going to talk about these three and not Nintendo, because although I love Nintendo, I grew up with all their products and their video games and consoles, etc. I... I'm not a fan of the Wii U, and I don't think I ever will be. I think it's a piece of garbage. So we're going to have to just wait and see on that if I ever become a current Nintendo fan. Right now, I'm only a fan of their older stuff, so we'll see what happens with that. But for now, we're just going to talk about the three big press conferences, Microsoft, EA, and Sony. So let's start with Microsoft. And before I begin, I just want to say, leave your comments down below with your thoughts about the press conferences from earlier this week in E3. Let me know any games you're excited to see in particular and why and what games you aren't excited to see. Let me know everything down below. Let's get some good conversation going. So we're going to start with Microsoft. And the first thing that they came out with was Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And Microsoft's press conference as a whole was pretty good. I think they just came out with the games that they wanted to come out with. They showed them off, and I think that's all it's supposed to be. Last year, they had a lot of talk, and they had the Xbox One reveal, which was awful. So I think this year they took a step in the right direction, but I still think they came out a little flat, starting with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I think that this new Call of Duty does look different. It looks innovative. But I wasn't all that interested in it, to be honest with you. And even looking at it as a different title than Call of Duty, if it didn't have Call of Duty in the name, I didn't think it was that interesting. So it's not just the name that's turning me off to the game, it's something else. I just looked at the trailer, the demo, whatever they had, I was not interested at all. It reminded me a lot of Titanfall, which got old quickly, and I, I don't know, I just... I don't know. I'm not really looking forward to this Call of Duty in particular. Let me know what you guys think about that down below, too, in the comments section in particular, because I just thought that struck me as odd. Usually, Call of Duty at least gets me somewhat, you know, excited to see some gameplay, but not this year. The next thing they came out with was Forza. Not going to talk too much about that. It's a racing game, as we all know. Then they talked about Assassin's Creed Unity, and this is where I started to get interested because I noticed that Microsoft now has this partnership with Ubisoft. And that struck me as odd because later on we found that Microsoft had lost, or at least given away, their partnership with EA and Battlefield. And we knew that because Battlefield Hardline's beta only came out for the PS4 and PC. No Xbox One love there. And I'm going to talk about Battlefield Hardline in a video following this one, not this video in particular, just because I don't want to talk all about that right now, because I can go on for a long time about Battlefield Hardline and my thoughts about EA and Visceral right now and how they're handling this game. So we're going to save that for the next video. But for now, I'm just talking about E3. And I thought Assassin's Creed Unity looked pretty cool. They're bringing back Assassin's Creed to a European setting, which a lot of people are happy about. And it is very interesting to see this Ubisoft partnership with Microsoft. Because now I see that The Division is coming out in 2015, and that is an Ubisoft game. And that's going to get all of its content on Xbox One first. So that's a game that I'm really looking forward to. And it was also in Microsoft's press conference, and I'm so excited for it. And I get to have all the content first on my Xbox One, so ha! No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm actually very disappointed with how Microsoft let go of some of their partnerships and what they've been doing. I don't think they're headed in the right direction at the moment, but once again, I'm going to save that for the Battlefield Hardline video. Then we had Sunset Overdrive, which looked pretty interesting, nothing too crazy. Then we had some dance games, Fable Legend, Project Spark, some nice indie shoutouts, which I enjoyed. Then we had Halo come in. Obviously, we have Halo 5 Guardians coming out later. I don't know exactly when. I can't even remember. I think it's 2015, though, and that seemed pretty cool. Um, 
you know, I think Halo's a great series. It's not my particular cup of tea, but some people really love it, and that's cool. And then they're also remastering all the old Halo games, too, for all you Halo fans out there. Then we had Witcher 3, which I thought was pretty cool, The Division, and then Crackdown. So, that was pretty good. I thought they had a pretty solid conference, but let's move on to Sony. Now, we had Sony come out with Destiny, first of all. That was the first thing they came out with. And Destiny, although I have been very interested into it up until this point, I'm not really that interested in it anymore. I thought they came out a little flat at E3. I wasn't that excited for it. And I'm still going to obviously look into it. Maybe I'll, if I see more gameplay, I'll enjoy it. But I'm not really looking forward to it that much this fall. Not really. But that's just me. A lot of people are stoked. That's great for them. Then uh, Sony showed off The Order, 1886, Entwined, Little Big Planet 3, Infamous Second Son. These are all interesting titles. Then we had Far Cry 4, which looks pretty cool, which has co-op now, which I think is a very, very good thing. And Planet Side 2 and Guns Up for free-to-play games, which is cool. Then they talked about Minecraft, Lego Movie Game, Mortal Kombat 10, Metal Gear Solid 5, the Last of Us is getting remastered, Ratchet and Clank, Batman Arkham Knight, and GTA 5. Grand Theft Auto 5 is getting redone for Xbox One, PS4, and PC, so let's all be happy about that. That's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to that. And then the show ended with Uncharted. So now we move on to EA, and EA's conference was pretty decent. They came out a little flat, too, I thought. They started with Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront which everyone seems to be looking forward to. See more Spring 2015 is what they ended with, so we all have to look forward to that. Then they talked about Dragon Age Inquisition, which is whatever. Then Mass Effect, which is cool. People are going to be looking forward to a new Mass Effect game. Mirror's Edge 2, which they did a really cool demo with how they're using parkour artists and stuff to create the movement in Mirror's Edge 2, which I think is awesome. Then they had all their sports games, which is, you know, it is what it is. Then they had Battlefield Hardline, and they ended with this, and they showed the demo of the game, and I'm not going to talk about that now, like I said, in a future video I will, but then they released the beta for PS4 and PC users only. So I thought that was very interesting that they did that. I don't know if it was the right move or not, we'll see, I suppose, but all I have to say is that overall I'm very disappointed about what Microsoft has been doing, how they've been handling their business decisions. And I hope, sincerely, that they will turn things around because they've lost their partnership with EA and Battlefield. And they have gained one with Ubisoft, which is really cool, but I don't know if they're working in my best interest. As a gamer myself, I'm not really that interested in what they're doing, what they're pursuing. I hope that they can turn things around. Because, I mean, I, I just am so upset about this whole beta thing about Hardline, but that's more for another day. Leave all your thoughts about E3 down below in the comment section. Let me know what games you're looking forward to. I mean, there's a lot of cool ones coming out. The Division, Destiny, Battlefield Hardline, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Sunset Overdrive, Mirror's Edge 2, and so many more. Those are just to name a few. So let me know what you're looking forward to down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!